Hi folks, my name is Christina. I'm with the Health and Wellbeing Committee with the Neil GAA and this evening I want to speak to you about our Recipes for Success campaign which we're launching this month in February. So tonight I am going to be cooking up one of the recipes from the book and over the coming weeks we're going to have guest speakers and other members of the club cooking up some of their favourites. So another thing to bring to your attention is um, we actually have these up as prizes for any of our team members who will cook something from the book. They can upload it onto the Facebook page and then they can win themselves one of these books. So this book can be used as a tool for you to continue your healthy eating while you are training for the GAA. So they have everything in here from snacks, breakfast, smoothies, some mains, some soups and some meal plans there at the end. They also have lots of little information about your sleep and your recovery and how different. I have my noodles there and they are cooked so we will get back to them shortly. They take about 8 to 10 minutes. And in here we have one tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to pop in our chicken. And a good tip is to have everything ready before you start because there's nothing worse than running back and forth. It's really easy just to get everything ready. Once the chicken is kind of halfway cooked through, I am going to pop in my onions, my ginger and my garlic. So we're going to pop in our onions, our garlic and our ginger. I just have them all in together there. There'll be a lovely smell going through the house now after this. Chili as well. So it says one full chili, but if you use like a frozen version, it's probably just a tablespoon. Chicken has a great source of protein, obviously for muscle recovery, post-training. There's also uh, cashew nuts in this recipe. Um, cashew nuts have copper in them. That's nearly cooked through. And you have your onions, garlic, ginger, and your little bit of chili in there. That's nearly cooked through. So we're gonna pop in our vegetables. So we have our peppers. We have our mushrooms. Uh, I do tend to leave the marsh too until the end because they can go a little bit soggy if you put them in too early. So it's nice to have a little bit of a crunch. So I just leave them until near the end. This is nearly cooked through. Now, the best bit. So in here, I have my honey, my soy sauce, and my sesame oil. And we also have a tablespoon of water. So let's fill that in. So I have two teaspoons of sesame seeds here as well. It's going to give a nice nutty flavour to it. And at the end, we're going to add in some cashew nuts. It's really, really nice and stir fry. Pop in our manch too because they keep their crunch if you put them in near the end. So we'll pop in our two teaspoons of sesame seeds. I am going to drain my noodles which are here and a colander there just draining. And we'll just stir it all through. So this is it, all cooked up. So lastly, you just throw in a few cashew nuts on top. And there we go. Fab. Best of luck to all our club players. I hope to see loads of recipes uploaded onto our Facebook page. And good luck being with a chance to win one of these.